All right, came up to Pine View for the morning. I was out in about 32 feet of water and not having much luck. I uh, just moved out to about 47 feet and have quite a few fish on the on the fish finder now. And there's perch and crappie cruising through pretty regularly now. Just picked up the first crappie at a, after moving out here. Or first perch, sorry. After moving a little deeper. So what I'm fishing with is these little uh, <clears throat> Swedish pimples. Smallest one I got. Silver with a little bit of flash, a little maggot on the bottom. I'm trying to keep them right on the bottom. <clears throat> Been quite a few... Uh, crappie coming through but I have not been on the bottom when they have come through I'm in about 48 feet of water pretty murky down there I'm only two feet from where my lure is and it's uh, having a hard time seeing the lure banging off the bottom a couple times and it seems like the perch come right over Let's see if we can get one here. Here comes one. Let me just come up to look at it. Oh, missed him. Got a couple down there looking at it right now. Got him. I don't know if you could see that, but uh, no bite. Just that tip of that pole went flat. All right, going to give this guy a shot. Uh, it's a little flutter leech by clam it's gold black with some red red lines on the on the side I'm not going to tip it with anything they've been so active let's see if this see if they like this guy too all right almost got this back to the bottom here I think it's almost the bottom I see fish going to the bottom Yep, I so saw one on the camera go right to the bottom. Got him. Watched a perch, couldn't see the lure, but watched a perch uh, dive right to the bottom, so I figured my lure had to be right there. Now uh, this one hit that clam. Let's see if we can get another one on it. Gonna give this guy a try. It's a little clam. It's got an eye on it. Some kind of spoon. I don't know what they call it. I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see if they'll eat it today. Got him. Well, that lure took forever to get to the ground.
That one took a while to hit the ground. A little single hook, small perch. All right, gonna try this Eagle Claw Disco Tungsten. A little spike on it. This one should get to the bottom in a hurry. <laughs> uh, there we go. About seven or eight misses there. All right, gonna try another lure here. It's a little minnow upside down with the chain hook on it. Give it a shot here real quick. And I can see some perch on the camera. Did I lose him? I got him. All right, as soon as this one hit the bottom, it was on. I'm gonna try to figure my camera out here real quick. All right, going to try this perch talker down there. Give it a shot. Got a little weight. It's cruising down the bottom. Messed around with my camera. Hopefully it's uh, online where the fish are at. It's just, it's just tough to see in almost 50 feet of water. It's pretty murky. I only got a couple feet of visibility. There's the perch. Just saw a perch chase it down to the bottom. Got him. You can see him coming up. Hit the perch talker. Alright, I'm gonna try all right, I'm gonna try this uh, cast master. It's a little perch pattern. Hook's a little bit bigger. Shouldn't take long to get down the bottom either. I think it's the smallest cast master, but they still have quite a bit of weight to them. All right, looks like some crappie just moved in. Let's see if I can get one of these crappie. School of crappie. Crop, you'll hit it. I can see him on my camera. All right, hopefully that's a crappie. School of crappie came in. I'm 
No, perch. We're too quick. A little crappie. Try to get a little bit higher in the water column here. That was maybe a foot and a half off the bottom. Hopefully I could have got away from those perch. Feels a little different. Yep, crappie. Little guy. All right, gonna give this a little perch, perch guy, a little drop hook on it. I'm sure this guy should work nice. It's got a bunch of weight too. Get right down there real quick. Got him. Looked like a small perch came in. Yep, you can tell he's just a little guy on camera. All right, next lure. I've never caught a fish on this yet. It's a, I think it's made by Northland, but it's a glow-in-the-dark uh, perch eye. I'm not gonna tip it with anything. I'm just gonna see what happens. See if I can get one on it. All right, just hit bottom. Had to. A little bit of bait on that perch eye. Wasn't getting anything with no. Got him. Just took a little bit of bait on that perch eye. They weren't interested with no spell on it. perch all right gonna give this guy a try it's a little real reflective a little minnow a little pattern it's like five bucks <laughs> pretty pricey let's see if it works Quite a bit of weight to it. I don't remember the name of it or the brand, anyways. Not seeing as many fish on the camera either right now. Well, maybe they're down there and I'm just not in the right spot with my camera. Yep, no, there they are. There's a bunch. Yeah, that one hit it pretty much right on the bottom as soon as it hit. I've never caught one on this lure either. I did not get any, anything on that Rapala. So, let's see if I can get this fixed here. This hook got messed up. 
Okay, a little teeny little perch little guy. I'm actually going to put a little spike on the back of it. So I didn't get anything with it. that last one. This one's got quite a bit of weight to it. Oh, good little bump. There we go, had to bounce it off the bottom. Bounce it off the bottom a couple times. Got it. So they do work. All right, gonna try this Johnson it's a little flutter. I don't know what they call them, but they're kind of you can troll them, suspend them, a little perch pattern. See what happens. Got him. Looks like a little bigger one came in and got. A little more aggressive with it. Oh yeah, I mean, that's not big or anything, but that's one of the better perch of the day. Didn't, didn't mess around. It came in and grabbed it right off the bat. All right, this is a 13 fishing, one of those lures, like an $8 lure. It's kind of a kind of a gold, almost looks like a perch. I think it'd work better for maybe some bigger fish. Haven't tried it yet either. Cabela's had these on sale for five bucks the other day. They're like 5.88 when they were on sale, like 30% off. So I thought I'd give them a try. Look like a catfish. I look like a catfish that came in off the bottom. Yeah, it's a catfish. <laughs> Little bullhead came in and gulped it. All right, gonna try this little uh, slender spoon, silver and red. It's tipped with a little bit of spike. We'll see how it does. It's gonna take a minute to get there, so. Dang it. Got one of the small perch. Perch are aggressive. Well, tried several lures just for kind of fun, just for giggles today. Uh, gonna go back to a little Swedish pimple. It's got the probably the best lure. It's got some flash, good weight, gets to the bottom quick when you're fishing in 50 feet of water. So, got about 15 more minutes of the day. Um, Gonna give this a go, just stick with it for the last little bit. See if I can uh, knock out a few more perch. Uh, probably sitting at about 25 for the day. I think you could easily catch a limit if you just, uh, you know, stuck with the perch talker or a little Swedish pimple. 
tungsten seem to do well. But those little teeny treble hooks on the uh, Swedish pimple seem to work well, especially with these smaller perch here. Well, we're going to call it a day up here at Pine View. Uh, had a lot of fun chasing the perch, a crappie, one crappie and one catfish. Pretty fast fishing once I got out to the right depth, once I got uh, 47 to 50 feet of water, the fish uh, seemed to be all over the camera, still a little bit murky, but if you're right on the bottom within about six inches, there were plenty of perch, several crop uh, schools of crappie that came through as well. So. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy uh, some of the different lures. Uh, it was just kind of fun to try uh, a bunch of stuff that's in the tackle box. So, have a good day.